Hello, this is Celeste. I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of things. This is one where I made up something to fix something. Most of my items are antique and this is one of them. They're called Panther, Panther Mesh or Link Mesh or they're usually gold filled. Occasionally you'll come across a solid gold one. But they're high quality, it's all wired. Those wire in between all of those links. It's carefully wired together. But as in some of them, as you can tell, they have a tendency to kink. I think it's because it was folded at some point, uh, folded in a drawer. So don't, don't fold these. Um, you need to hang it some way on a form or a figure or even on a hook just like this and keep it around. Um, um, and so you can tell by this, uh, I figured out to help straighten this, I tried weights, I tried quite a few different things and nothing seemed to work. It would always stay kinked. And so I got out my iron, turned it to the hottest setting, because this is all solid metal. Uh, an iron is only gonna go to a couple of hundred degrees. So you won't, you won't hurt it by heating it with an iron. I didn't have any problems. And can you tell the difference between the ironed and the unironed side? Okay. So I'm going to iron the unironed side, and that'll straighten it. And it looks like it's pretty permanent because I did this yesterday, and it still hasn't re-kinked. So I'm going to do some more ironing to completely straighten it completely. I put, uh, I just put it on cardboard, and then I put a piece of paper, as you can see, kind of left. Uh, there's no, there's no water in the uh, iron, but um, it, it may have leftover steam on it. Okay, this is real simple. I just heated up the iron as hot as it would get, and then just set it on, um, set it on top for about five minutes or so, and then came back and checked it, and made sure that that it's flat when I do this. Make sure that it's flat. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is. That's a cool tip. I just made that one up. Okay. I also wanted to show you this neat picture taking. Uh, it's called Cloud Dome. You can see the logo right there. Cloud Dome. Okay. It's really good for earrings. Uh, I've not had any. Uh, to me, displays are always extremely challenging. Um, I never can seem to find anything that... Here we go, I'm demoing the, the Cloud Dome. It's for, um, this is the large necklace and earring photography stand. I think there's more than one kit available. And um, this is what I have. And I, I also have the dome part of it, okay? comes in uh, pieces, but I had no problem putting it together. It has great instructions. Um, and you can see the setup. Uh, you can use it standalone. Most often, most often I use it this way. That's the fastest and the easiest. But I'm gonna show you this way. Uh, I've got a pair of earrings. And uh, my earrings started selling so much better after I started photography, photographing them this way, okay? But, the real key to it is that it works with a cell phone. Can you see the phone right there? And a phone right there, okay? And what this Lucite does, this cloud Lucite does, it softens the light. So if you have really strong or harsh light, I'm using sunlight uh, from a window. It's just sunlight from a window. And uh, I don't, uh, photograph in any kind of artificial light because the product then doesn't really look natural and you want to make sure your customer is happy so always photograph in natural light okay so I'm going to show you a couple of items on the different ways we photograph okay uh, comes with a selection of colored papers you could easily use your own paper and cut it out 
to match to to fit. It's real easy. It's just any kind of paper, thick paper, not even that thick. See, just it's a slot, and you can put paper in front, paper behind. You could, I guess, you could even. It's got a slot in the front, so if you want had some sort of filter you wanted to use on it, okay. So it comes with this, and I've used them, and you can see they've gotten bent. Um, but it's easy, easy to use any paper you've got that'll fit in that slot, okay? It also comes with uh, extra hangers for longer pendants, shorter earrings, you know, several different sizes and lengths. And um, also this dome, okay? So I've got it set up. And I can't put my phone on right now because I'm recording with it, but the phone would go right here, okay? And you can take a picture. It takes a picture through. You line up the camera eye with this hole, and it softens everything so there's no harsh shadows. That is the main goal of this product. It takes out those harsh shadows. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in. And you can see these photograph very well in there. And this is a black background, okay? Uh, this particular color um, might look different with a different background, but you can experiment. And uh, to me, they almost look like they're floating. Uh, you could possibly even photograph them like that without the hangers even being visible and uh, create the idea that they're floating, that there's nothing holding them up. Okay, it's one of the coolest products I've seen. Uh, there are some slots on either side to photograph um, pendants. Okay, this is a necklace that seems to fit well, and it would photograph well in, using this setup. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. And uh, it's probably meant more for pendants, uh, but it, you could use, you know, a, not a paper clip, but a clothespin to hold this in some way. I've even draped things over the little um, earring tabs, you know, to get a good picture of something hanging like a pendant. So it's versatile. It's just limited by what you can you think you can do with it. Okay, okay. I've even held things with my hands inside. Sometimes I do that so that people get an idea of scale. Uh, it's really hard to tell from item in a picture if it's really close up. Is that really as tiny as it, I think it is, or is it not? So if you include a hand in the uh, one of the photographs, it gives people an idea of scale. Okay. I can't show you how this looks, but what I'm going to do is put an item underneath and then I'm going to move the camera so that you can see what it looks like in the hole. Excuse me while I do that. Now it's holding still. You can take a great picture. It's holding still. You can zoom. It's meant for items such as gemstones that have a lot of uh, a lot of um, shine or reflection to it. Um, that's what the dome will really help with. If you have gemstones, I'm going to put my earrings underneath there, and let's see what they look like. Here's a pair of those. a good close-up shot because I, I've had gemstones where they will not focus because of the shine and the reflection and it's really a little bit too dark outside this has better afternoon light than morning light 
and so it will even be brighter in the afternoon or I can turn it. Here's the same item outside in full sun. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'll take the dome away. Actually, that was the... Um, Sorry, it wasn't centered over, over the camera. Uh, I took the hood away, the hood part, and uh, it's still in full sun. So if I photograph this in full sun, and you can see the, the glare, and it's just not the same. So you can see how it softens the item and, and prevents the bad shadows and glare from happening. Uh, especially gemstones.